Good afternoon. Welcome to our prophetic ministry this afternoon. My name is Joseph and I'm sitting here right next to Ian. And so this afternoon we're taking some time uh, to minister to people that wrote their names on the com comments and they said, please, I would like to receive some ministry. So uh, we have a strict uh, prophetic protocol that we adhere to. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 3. When you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort and comfort. And we stick to that. Uh, also in verse 29, it says that word must be judged. And so I want to encourage you, write the word out, pray about it, get scriptures, confess the word of God over your life and also get instructions from the Lord as to what he wants you to do so that you can see the promise of God be a fault in your life okay so we're going to start uh, right now we're going to we jump in and minister so the first person i would like to minister to is susan uh, so susan uh, the lord is uh, showing to me uh, that he's giving you a gift of encouragement and he's uh, giving you resources and he's opened up your heart so that uh, you are full of light and your heart is open to be generous towards people and so the lord said to me when you come into contact with people you're going to give them resources even finances, but also that word of encouragement to encourage them to fulfill the plan and the blueprint that the Lord has given into their lives. And you've been faithful at this gifting that the Lord has given to you for a long time. And now the Lord is also adding an anointing on your life to prophesy. And I believe when you talk to people, not only are you going to encourage them and you're going to even be generous towards people, but you're also going to hear God's voice clearly on what the Lord is saying to you. And so the Lord says, my anointing is on you. Release that word. God bless you, Susan. Hi Susan, good to see you again. Uh, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, I just saw a picture where you went to battle and I really feel that the, the, the muddy part, the difficult part, the dirty part has been done. And you've gotten, you are established and the Lord says, uh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you the ammunition. I'm going to give you the weapons that you need to fight on the next level. So I see prayer and intercession <laughs> is going to move to a next level. Like Joseph said, your prophetic ministry is going to move to the next level. You will be able to be so effective because of the preparation that went through. So it, did, it wasn't for nothing. That actually laid the foundation so that you can start uh, with the next phase of your ministry where you become very effective and you will see bigger and bigger results. So keep on working with the Holy Spirit. It is working for you. Be blessed, Susan. Thank you, Susan. God bless you. So the next word is for Karen. So the, uh, the, uh, Karen, the word gives me this word, property, ownership, uh, stewardship, uh, land, Lord, and also uh, authority in the spirit and in the natural. So I believe that the Lord says, daughter, I'm expanding you. I'm bringing wealth to you and I'm putting you in a position of authority. And you can really help people, uh, but you can also exercise authority to stop the works of the enemy. And so the Lord says, uh, I'm putting a kingly anointing upon your life. And I want you to um, spend a lot of time in my throne room worshiping me. I'm going to give you clear instructions as what you need to do. And I don't know if you own uh, properties already, but I believe that the Lord is going to open up a way for you uh, to own property and to be a steward in the kingdom of God. God bless you, Karen. Hi, Karen. The Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. Yeah, I saw a picture of a map and three red circles almost in a line uh, that the Lord says that's the territory that you, you will have, that you will own, that you'll possess. And I, I see that the Lord's going to give you instructions, that the Lord's going to give you the wisdom to obtain them. Uh, but it's not just for for um, for you. It is for your 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 um, your um the generations uh, after you as well. So it feels... That the Lord is saying, I'm going to bless you, but it's going to be for your family as well. And I'm going to give you the wisdom and the instructions. Uh, even though things may not feel that it's running smoothly and it's working out for you, just be patient. Just proclaim the goodness of the Lord over your life. And you will see you will bear much fruit. Be blessed, Karen. Oh, thank you, Karen. God bless you. So the next word is for Carolina. Carolina, the Lord shows me three stages in your life. Uh, the first one is a bicycle with those um, uh, practice wheels on the sides. Uh, so, you know, when a child is young, uh, they can get a bike, but the bike's got two little extra wheels on the backside, and it kind of keeps them from falling uh, over. Uh, but at some, I think they call it training wheels, yes. Uh, and at some point, those wheels are being taken off, and then they can ride without those wheels. Uh, but uh, the Lord showed me that you are finished with that season, and now you're in a season where you received a mountain bike. And so this mountain bike can go on very different terrains. It's not a very fast bike, uh, but you can go kind of everywhere. And uh, it's a, 
it's a quite a nice bike to learn on to to ride uh, before you get into uh, the bigger highways and the streets and places like that when you can ride uh, but then the lord shows me how he prepares you to get onto the racing bike and on the racing bike you're going a lot faster you can cover a lot more mileage and you can actually uh, compete also in races and so what the lord said to me that's actually a picture of your ministry where you were in training and now the Lord is kind of using you to minister here and there, like with a mountain bike where you're not on a big highway, but you kind of meet people here and there and you can minister to them. Uh, but then the Lord is going to put you uh, on the racing bike and you're going to start to meet a lot more people. It's going to be also more effective and a little bit faster. And so the Lord is growing you. He's going to use you in a mighty way. And the Lord don't want you to give up. He wants you to endure. Uh, don't uh, think so much about your finances or about relationship issues in your life that you don't spend enough time on the ministry. The ministry is a priority in your life. And even as you spend the time to develop that ministry that God has given to you, then you'll see how all the other things will fall into place. God bless you, Carolina. Carolina, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of a waterfall and the Lord says, jump in the, into the river and you went down the waterfall. But it was so much fun and the Holy Spirit protected you. And I feel that is the next season for your life. There'll be a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of protection from the Holy Spirit as well. So enjoy what you are doing. Because the Lord says there's a lot of power when you are joyful. Um, it feels like you are getting stuck when you're not joyful. But the Lord says when, once you're joyful, you can just do a lot. You focus, you push through, you get the job done. And that's a, the, the, the element or the um, characteristic that the Lord wants to develop in your life. So that you become a lot more efficient. But... That you also enjoy what you are doing. Be blessed, Caroline. Hey, God bless you, Carolina. Please write us a, a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Uh, so the next word is for Georgia. Uh, Georgia, um, uh, we love and appreciate you. It's always wonderful to see you on all our live sessions that we do. Or when you watch the video and you send me a message. I really, really appreciate that. And, and you really feel like part of our family and our community. So uh, when I was praying for you, I saw the weirdest vision uh, I've never seen something like that before, uh, but I'll tell you what I saw. I saw a picture of a of a jail cell, and then I saw Jesus was standing there in the jail cell. <laughs> and then I asked the Lord, Lord, what is this? And the Lord says, no, uh, Georgia was always uh, imprisoned by circumstances and things uh, that happened, and she can't really move, uh, and she's now trapped in this uh, jail cell, but he wants her to be free. So he uh, said, no, you'll pay the price for her. So you will stand there in a jail cell so that she can get out of jail and she can do what the Lord has called him, uh, what, uh, her to do. And then I uh, felt what the Lord was saying to you is that he actually uh, prayed on the cross, uh, the price for all the things that uh, are limiting you in your life. Uh, and so even those limitations that you feel because of your children uh, or because of where you are or the responsibilities in your life, I just believe that the Lord says, I'm expanding you, I'm giving you resources, I'm giving you choices, and I want you to rise up as a woman of faith and fulfill what's on your blueprint. And so the Lord has written so many things on your life uh, to build, uh, to establish, to encourage, uh, to even preach the word, uh, to intercede, and to be part, to travel. All of those things are written on God's blueprint for your life. And He doesn't want you to pull back and say, this is just where I am right now, but He wants you to break out. God bless you, Georgia. Georgia, the Lord loves you and cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of a crate and how the, the Lord uh, came with a crowbar. He opened the crate for you and he says, I'm going to help you so that you can release and that you are can roam freely. That there's a lot of things that uh, hindered you from moving around. I see there's you're going to be sent out. You're going to go to different places. You're just going to encourage people. You're going to sp uh, speak to people. But the Lord says that um, restraints has been removed from your life. So you need to also release that in your mind because a lot of things is still stuck in your mind that the Lord says, I've given you the ability, I've given you the resources that you need, but you must see them and realize that it is there for you to bless other people. And then once you realize that, you're going to see how easy it was actually from the start. You thought it's going to be so difficult. But the Lord says, I'm going to make it easier for you because... I've already equipped you. I've given you the blessings. Uh, so go out and bless other people as well. Be blessed, Georgia. Hey, thank you, Georgia. Please write us a comment. So the next word is for Ron uh, Ellen. 
Um, so Ron, um, I'm writing here in brackets also Shilton, but I as a, have a suspicion that Shilton was actually Joe's last name before she was married. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but Ron, I know at least that is right. That is your name. Uh, so Ron, uh, what the Lord has shown me is that you have sown so, so many seeds uh, of kindness over the years uh, that there is a tremendous harvest that the Lord is bringing to you. I also feel that the Lord says there's a lot of grace uh, to you and I saw a, a measurement and how you the whole time being measured and and uh, you measured uh, you know upwards and downwards in any direction uh, and the Lord says son I'm not measuring you I'm loving you and I'm filling you up with my spirit with my love with my power with my fire uh, and the Lord says uh, through you I'm going to do amazing things I'm putting a wealth of kindness uh, inside of you and I see how that kindness and that righteousness just flow out of your life and the Lord says uh, I affirm you as my son I love you very very much my hand is upon you and I love walking with you this walk God bless you Ron Ron the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a picture of a spanner in the works I see you were working and you got a, a bit frustrated and you dropped the spanner and that caused a lot of effects afterwards <clears throat> that was not the ideal result but then I see the Holy Spirit came, he took out the spanner, and he says, I'm going to give you a second chance. So you decide what you're going to do with the second chance. It is as if the first one never even happened. So I feel that the Lord is giving you a second chance and says, use it with wisdom. Use it wisely. Because once you make the right decisions, your life will be so full. It will be so blessed. The frustration will leave. It will be gone. Uh, and you will be able to run the race that you were supposed to run from the beginning be blessed Ron okay God bless you Ron uh, please write us a comment so the next word is for Joe uh, Joe the hand of the Lord is upon you uh, he has washed you clean and I actually see uh, these uh, beautiful white teeth and uh, how you start to eat the meat of the word of God and how it just uh, makes you grow and expand and build so much faith in you and for the first time you have a tremendous excitement and a hope about the future that God has given to you. And the Lord uh, gives me this verse in Zechariah chapter 3. I think it's verse 2. Where it says. And this uh, was like a, a brand plucked from the fire. And I felt that the Lord says. The enemy had a plan to bring total destruction into your life. But I saved you. And I brought you into a place uh, where you can grow. And you can flourish. And where the Lord can use you. And so the Lord is giving you right now a lot of wisdom. He's giving you patience. And the Lord says just. Uh, uh, walk with me and wait you are going to see the breakthrough and the supply and the release uh, from the Lord and I saw uh, a picture of clouds coming together and then it starts to rain uh, the blessing of God upon your life and not only you also the rest of your family God bless you Joe Joe the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I just saw on the one side of the page there was a lot of drawings and scrabblings and uh, it was very busy but the Holy Spirit turned out a, a over a blank new page and he gives you the pen and says write write the things that you need write the things that you want but don't focus on what is on the other side of the paper you're not allowed to go back on the other side of the paper because it's going to influence you what you write and i feel the holy spirit is giving you a new future where you're going to make new decisions so don't focus on what happened in the past focus what is possible in the future and that needs to influence you to write down what you want on this new future of yours and then the holy spirit said even if you need wisdom ask me i'm going to whisper in your ear i'm going to help you and i'm going to give you ideas i'm going to give you insight i'm going to give you revelation so that this future that you draw up is going to be very nice very awesome but the decision is in your hands be blessed joe hey joe thank you very much uh, god bless you uh, you've been uh, for a while here at our channel and i'm so glad that you stuck it out and you still around here and i always appreciate your uh, appreciate your encouragement and also your questions that you have and i believe that the holy spirit is going to be faithful to give you everything that you need god bless you uh, you are in a season of breakthrough in your life and i believe a lot of things that you wondered about a lot of questions that you had is going to be answered uh, in this time god bless you so the next word is for heidi uh, so heidi the lord gives me this word worship and then he said to me creativity and then he gave me ascension uh, so now ascension is just a, a 
a thing uh, that uh, when a few of us come together and we start to pray and we ascend into the realm of heaven and we experience the thing uh, of, of heaven in our life and in that process then the re Lord releases into our scrolls and, and even the, the leaves of healing and He gives us ideas and His life and then we come uh, to this earth and we bring heaven to earth and I believe that the Lord says uh, you're going to get into a habit and into a, a rhythm of just going through that process and releasing even in your life. And the Lord says, even as that happens, all your financial needs is going to be supplied, all your, your relationships is going to be healed, uh, and there's going to be this breakthrough after breakthrough uh, in your life. Uh, the Lord might even move you uh, from one place where you're not planted into a place where you can plant and you can grow and be established. And so the Lord is doing a tremendous work uh, in your life, Heidi. I also feel that the enemy sometimes come against you and make you feel like you uh, rejected or you feel lonely or separate. But the Lord says, uh, you're not lonely, you're not separate, but you belong, you're part of, and the Lord is going to connect you with people in your life that's going to love you and support you uh, so that you can run this race uh, without feeling lonely uh, in your life. Uh, the Lord uh, is just boosting you today and saying to you, daughter, rise up with confidence. And with boldness, I love you. I'm with you. I'm going to bless you. I will never leave you. Uh, um, my hand is upon you. Uh, you're standing underneath my wing. God bless you. Hi, Heidi. Uh, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Yeah, I saw a picture of you where your shoelaces were tied and you had a race to run. And you just started, but you can't really run. And you thought, <clears throat> yes, what is wrong? I'm putting in the effort. But then I see... How the Holy Spirit comes and He says, that shoelaces is your confidence. You don't have confidence to do what you're supposed to do. Uh, you've got the ability, but you don't have the confidence. So the Holy Spirit says, trust me. I'm going to help you. I'm going to untie your shoelaces. I'm going to give you the courage, but you need to walk with me. You need to make that decision and say, yes, Lord, here am I. I want to go out. I want to be able to do what you called me to do. And then your, your confidence is going to help you in your trust. And your trust is going to help you in your faith. So it's a whole train that is connected to each other where the Lord is busy with working in your life. But it's going to start with the confidence that you need. And don't focus on what the enemy has done in your life. Focus on what the Lord is doing in your life. And you will see your confidence will just grow like a seed that sprouts and grows and grows and grows. Be blessed, Heidi. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, Heidi. Uh, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Natalie. Uh, so Natalie, uh, the Lord is just showing me a big field of flowers. Uh, and I feel that the Lord says a lot of the seeds of the word of God that was planted into your life, especially by your parents uh, from, a, from a young age, is just coming up and it's just bringing the beauty and that presence, that, that fragrance of the kindness of God that's just out of your life. And so the Lord says, daughter, I'm so pleased with you. And I'm so pleased with the way I, you always open up your heart. You're always available to say, I will serve. I will pray for you. I'll, I'll speak a word of, uh, of, uh, of the kindness of God. Uh, I'll encourage someone. I'll, I'll lift someone up. Uh, and so the Lord is very excited about you. Uh, but the Lord says, because of your faithfulness today, I'm releasing into your hand a scepter. I'm putting my mantle upon your life. Uh, and I'm giving you more authority. And you're going to find yourself uh, walking. And people are going to come to you. They want to have counsel. They want you to pray for them. Speak into their lives. Because they're going to start to recognize that anointing of the Lord that's upon you. I also feel that the Lord is going to give you a miracle uh, with relationships in your life. And there's a hunger inside of you uh, to do more for the Lord and to grow uh, even your family. And the Lord says, I'm going to open up those doors that you need. And I'm going to bless you. My hand is upon you. You are on my path. And I, I'm going to guide you to the right way so you won't go to the left or the right, but you will fulfill what I've called you to do. God bless you. Hi, Natalie. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw uh, where you were crying and the Lord says, I've, I'm coming to wipe off your tears. And as the Lord wipes off your tears, He says, what the enemy has done to you and where he's hurt you, you are going to use against him. So the people, uh, what happened to you, you're going to help people get out of that circumstances so there's going to be a lot of healing for you uh, while you are busy um, helping other people as well and taking from the kingdom of darkness to and bring people to the kingdom of light that they can see really what who the lord is and what he wants to do in your life and he says trust me i'm going to walk with you even though if it's small step don't focus on doing all of the big things at once just take it slowly just walk with me and you will see the ability that I create in you. Be blessed, Natalie. 
Okay, awesome. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, please write us a comment. It'll be good to uh, get to know you. Uh, I really see a veil that the Lord is just opening up before you and is releasing vision into your life and you're going to prosper because you're going to have an understanding of God's vision for you. Uh, uh, the next word is uh, for uh, Velma Blake uh, or Velma. Uh, Velma, the Lord is uh, giving me a word, a victory over legal uh, uh, cases. Uh, and I don't know if it's in the natural or it's in the spirit, but I see these legal things coming against you and your family. Uh, but the Lord is giving you anointing, is giving you the wisdom and also a soft heart stand before the uh, the lord to repent uh, but also uh, the anointing to destroy that work of the enemy that is uh, uh, coming against you and the lord says although the enemy comes against you in one he's gonna run away in seven and the lord says you will overcome uh, they will not be able to overcome you know there's a scripture that says no weapon against me shall prosper and that's what the lord is saying to you the lord says the enemy is trying to bring destruction to you but you will uh, you will overcome and the lord to overcome the lord is putting on your anointing is putting on your joy is giving you a, a word even a prophetic word and that word talks about that you are a winner you are victorious you will win uh, you're not going to lose the enemy is not going to take your stuff uh, but the Lord will protect you and even what you have lost in the past the Lord is going to restore back to you and the Lord says a total restoration both in the physical realm but also in the spirit and in your in your mind the Lord is washing your mind clean uh, from the blood of, with the blood of Jesus and he's closing those doors of fear and anxiety in your life and there's a new faith that, and, and boldness uh, and trust in the Lord that's rising up in you God bless you Valma Valma, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see how you bring your problems to the Lord and He resolves them for you. So let's say you've got an electrical problem. You find the electrician, I've got a problem with this. You do not stand there with Him and help Him to, to sort out the problem or tell Him what to do. Uh, you trust His ability and His training that He's got. And the Lord says, that's the same that you need to do. When you give a problem to me, you put it in my hands and you trust me the way I'm going to resolve it for you. So it feels like you're giving it to the Lord, but you always keep on holding on to it. And the Lord says, release it because I want to resolve it. I don't want it to be like a symptom that just comes back and back and back. But I'm going to give you wisdom to resolve the issues in your life. And then when you say, yes, Lord, I'm going to trust you with that. It's like a veil that opens up. And you walk into the Holy of Holies and you experience the power of God. You experience the love of God. And it's like, sure, Lord, my whole life I was standing before the veil and I was crying for the veil to go open. But now that I walk through it, it's such a big blessing in my life. Be blessed, Valma. Hey, thank you, Valma. Please write us a comment. Oh, Valma. Uh, sorry. <laughs> As a Valma, we, uh, we're trying to figure out if you're South African, then there's one pronunciation. But if you're from America or another you know, English nation, then it's probably going to be Velma. Uh, so uh, it's probably a very good chance that it's Velma. Uh, so, but uh, please write us a, a comment. It'd be good to, to hear from you. And may the Lord bless you in everything that you do. And may the Lord give you the breakthrough. Uh, um, uh, not only to, to deal with what's happening in the past, but also to connect you with a good future and a plan that he has for you. Uh, so the next word is for Bridget Hatchler. Uh, so uh, Bridget, the Lord gives me this word fruitfulness and he gives me the word uh, uh, mother and i believe that the lord is filling uh, you up with his love he's pouring his love into your heart through the holy spirit and he's uh, just giving you a lot of patience and strength uh, to be a mother not only to your own children but also uh, to be to many others uh, to counsel them uh, to be straight with them uh, to bring the discipline of god into their lives to bring the common sense and the wisdom of god i also see how the lord is just giving you all the financial resources uh, that you need and and also uh, giving you uh, uh, the opportunities uh, that you that you need uh, the lord is also giving you a teaching anointing uh, upon your life uh, and the ability to push through and and i believe not only are you going to uh, raise uh, children in your life but you're also going to equip them to fulfill what god has called them uh, to do uh, when the bible talks about the fivefold ministers it says their function is to equip the saints for the work of ministry and i believe you're going to equip many people god bless you bridget the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of a treasure chest and every time you want to reach into the treasure chest it it closes up and it happened quite a few times but at a later stage when you got the wisdom what to do with it 
Then I saw how it was left open and you were able to use that treasure to advance the kingdom of God. So don't keep, be discouraged if things feel like uh, every time you go reach a point, the reward is not there. The Lord says, I'm helping you to expanding you so that you've got the wisdom, the ability and the control to use those treasures in your life. Uh, because that treasures there can either destroy you or it can enhance your life. And the Lord says, I'm helping to make sure that it will enhance your life and that it will not cause any harm to your life. Be blessed, Bridget. Thank you, Bridget. Uh, God bless you. Uh, please write us a comment. Thank you, family. Uh, it was wonderful. Uh, we uh, had an opportunity to minister uh, to uh, another 10 of you. Um, uh, thank you for writing your name in the comments. And uh, uh, please uh, write us a word of encouragement also. Um, it, it helps us. It lifts us up. And we can also see then that the word really have an impact. You know, uh, me and Ian actually said to me, looked through our last five times when we came online and we ministered to people. On average, it's about two out of the ten that we minister to that re, uh, give us a, re, uh, a reply. So we're not sure. Uh, is there only two out of the ten that watched it? Uh, or that all ten watched it, they just never gave us a, a comment or said thank you. Or just told us that they did receive it. Uh, so it's difficult. So then we thought, okay, maybe should we do this? Or should we try another way to be more effective? Uh, because uh, we love ministering to people, but we also want to be effective. In the kingdom of God. Now, if you did receive a word, even if you just write in a comment, you know, a thumbs up or thank you or just something there, then at least yes. we know that you did receive the word. All right. So, uh, um, uh, if you're new to our channel, uh, we uh, go live every Monday evening at uh, quarter and yeah, at seven o'clock, and then Fridays at uh, quarter to eight. That's now South African time, and then you can write your name in the comments and. Uh, uh, we minister usually to 20 people, sometimes to 30. Uh, so if your name is uh, quick enough in the comments, then uh, you want to schedule you and we can minister to you. Have a fantastic uh, day. God bless you. Be blessed.